Alright, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be playing Freakscape Escape from Hell for the PSP. Let us begin. Three, two, one. Okay, so I haven't played Freakscape uh, in years. Not since I brought it. Let us go and start in one of our... Which one are we on here? I think we're... There is a profile I made on here just a few moments ago yeah so freakscape is one of those um real early psp mini games it's i don't think the psp mini games are full-fledged video games i mean like uh oh okay yeah okay so let's see here triangle hey freak this place is off limits if bl catches you missing his stuff oh boy unimaginable things will happen to you but if you really want to go there, you must learn the basics to get through his minions. Press X to jump around and avoid enemies. Oddly enough, sometimes you'll need their attention to get to some places. Do it by pressing the circle. All right. By the way, if you, I see you already figured out that you can walk by using the analog stick. Yeah, like D-pad moves the camera around for some reason. I don't know when that will be useful. So yeah, like uh, I played this, I brought this game for like a, what is it, a couple of bucks or something when I got my PSP, well, I, I got the when, when I had my PSP for years, but uh, they released like a bunch of mini games for it, and then um, there was a sale, so I brought this along with a dozen other titles. Okay, summoning creatures, headcrackers in the house, so although you can reach it, you will need its help, trust me. Use the summoning portal to bring it here. Press triangle in front of the portal to do so. Okay, and remember, summon him at your own risk. If you get hurt in process, don't blame me ever. All right. So we're just doing some sort of... Oh, okay, so it's this kind of... Oh, this pig here. That's some very top-notch voice acting there. I think it's probably one of the developers. Because it certainly doesn't sound like a... Like a regular voice actor. Okay, he's talking about that. I don't I have no idea. What what is this? Whoops. Oh. Okay, it just brings him back. I can't seem to kill him. Uh triangle, circle, jump, L R. I can't do anything. Okay, anyway. Okay, not alone. That angry guy over there is a head cracker. Hell is full of them because they are BL's first line of defense. But we, despicable creatures from the abyss, don't get hurt by physical attacks. Oh, okay. In fact, we can use their sh sh uh, short fuse to get launched long distances to a high or to higher places. Try enraging that one. Okay, I guess I do this. Is he coming? Okay. There we go. And what say you? You do remember that you are still BL's minion, right, Freak? That means... It means that besides being a slave for eternity, you also have your own portal. Alright. That's right. If you happen to fall from a ledge into Hell's Pit, you can always return to the nearest portal you have crossed. Okay, like... Okay, that must be it. The music is very... Chillax for Hell, I would think. It's very, very, uh... Like, like, bar house blues, jazz of some sort. I don't know what the genre I'm trying to think of, but, uh, okay. Whoop. Okay, that works. <clears throat> what says you? Oingo Boingos. See that rounded yellow fellow? He's only a lad. I mean, he's an Oingo Boingo, a tool creature. As you jump on it, it oings and boings. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, I guess I... Oh, I see. Jump higher. Oh. Enemies interact with each other too. Why wouldn't headcrackers be launched when stepping on Oingo Boingo? Oh, okay. What is it? Dead end. I see. So yeah, this is a very simple game. Uh, this feels more like a demo than a full game. It's like, look, we can make... A Actually, this feels like an early iPhone game. Where are you? Oh, okay, there we go. Checkpoint. checkpoint. I almost said checkmate. I don't really play chess. Tried learning it before as a kid, and uh, 
Oh, I guess I gotta go this way. Tried learning chess before as a kid. Found it too uh, confusing. And then I tried learning as a teenager, and I found it too. I found it very complex. Let's see, trick or treat done. Okay, that was no problem. <clears throat> yeah, there was a lot of uh, PS. Well, there was quite a handful of PSP mini games. I think uh, last time I checked, there was like about 80 PSP games or something. I don't know how many there is or how many's been taken away since then because it's been close to a decade now since I brought PSP mini games. Unholy crap, this is the Sacred Trident of the other Demons are Trident mode. Yeah, I skipped the intro to the uh, beginning of the game when I created a profile when I was doing the sound check, so that's it. My trident will trade. No, the trident will tra change my life. Maybe I'll visit heaven if I see things are better over there. Okay, so I guess the freak here wants to escape hell. He wants to go to heaven. So I guess we got a trident now. Yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I'm playing this um, PSP game is that uh, I'm slowly running out of handheld games to do quick plays because I do follow a I follow a, a schedule of uh, systems that I um, systems or generation consoles that I go through. Well, anyway, the Trident Basics. Wow, freak! You got the Holy Trident. That's a big deal, you know. I won't stop you because I'm a nice guy, but Beale's minions are not. You can use the trident against all creatures in your way. Press R to stick them and use your abilities to use their abilities to your advantage. You can also change your aim by pushing the analog stick up and down. Try sticking an oingo boingo for now. As you stick it, press and hold R and use its ability. Have fun with your new pogo stick, okay. Oh, I see. So yeah, like I was saying, like uh with my release, my quick play release schedule, I usually follow a set of uh, consoles that I follow. I, first, I start with the 8-bit, then I go to handhelds, and then I go to um, uh, what was it? Um, no, at first I go to 8-bit, then I go to the current generation, which which was PS4 and Xbox One. Then I go to handhelds, then the 16-bit generation. Then after that was uh, the 32-bit, 64-bit generation. And then rounding off the week would be uh, the iPhone, uh, phone apps, phone games. So yeah, that's how I follow things. But sooner or later, I'm going to run out of handheld games. I am planning on building a collection of uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Also, some PSP games as well. But uh, collection is very limited and I can only, yeah... I only have so much. Well, anyway, also try holding square for a real creature toss and have some and have some mercy. Okay, I, I missed that part. Try okay square to let it go. Try holding it. All right, to heaven. You think you could just walk away freely? Enemies get really mad when you release them from your control. Friend or foe, they will unleash all their rage on the first creature they see. Poor o Oingo Boingo can only toss you higher though. So take advantage of it to get to a higher place. Okay, let's uh, release him. He's mad. There we go. Okay, we'll call him back here. Let's see, let's stick him. Oh, cool. We got an attack stick now. Have you tried to trident on a headcracker? Right? It's really a force of hell. Press R to use its horn attack and break walls with it. You can also hit and run other enemies with it. Oh, I see. Nice. Okay, how do I jump over there? Whoops. Well, there's our first death of the game. Okay, let's try this. Okay, we'll tr put, the, put him down, go up here. Ow. Whoops. Ah! Oh, I didn't know you could fall. I didn't know you can uh, fall that way. Okay, so this game is, uh, this game has a few more, this game has tricks up its sleeves that I wasn't aware of. Ah! 
Okay, I guess I gotta poke him from the rear. Ah. Okay, so what do we do? Oh, yeah, we can release him. There we go. Got a check mark now. Okay, so this is kind of like a puzzle platformer, it seems. So we can call him here. Whoop. Right over here. Okay, there's no... Oh, okay, there we go. To heaven. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think they released PSP minigames to, uh... To, uh, compete with the iPhone market. Mo the fo mobile phone games market. Because they released, um, a version of Angry Birds on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the PSP minis. I have it in my account, but I can't play it on, uh, my PS3, which is I'm playing this from, for some reason. Anyway. Moving the camera, feeling sh short-sighted? That's not a problem. That's not a problem. If you use the directional pad, uh, you can use the ca move the camera to see your path from other angles. Okay. What's a camera? That's a good question. He won't tell me, but anyway. Okay, so there is... I guess that's what the camera is used for. Okay, we're gonna have to find an, a way to get up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to... I can't exactly jump up there. Oh, great. Okay, so we start... Alright. Okay, I'm trying to figure out a way to get up here. But I don't have... Let's see. Maybe I can jump lower, right? Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can get one of these pigs, actually. Let's go down this way. Maybe we can get one of those pigs to launch us this way. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know what we could do? We could let him. Oh, we can let him go and get let him get pissed and stick him again. No, that's not. That is not working. That's not working to how I thought it was going to. Okay, let's put this down. There we go. Hmm. It feels like there's a way to do this. I just. I'm just not getting it. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna leave it for now and we're just gonna beat, beat this level and continue on. Whoop. Oh, not quite. Dang. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna move forward to heaven. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. We are not that far. Let him go this way. There. Nice. Okay, we didn't get the paprika, but, uh... Okay, looks like they give you more things to do in the level. That is optional. Optional is good. for Good for the completest. Uh, for the people who like to do 100% runs. I, uh... I don't really do 100% runs unless I'm really enjoying the game and I want to do it. There, There's only a few games I actually did that for. Um, Super Mario 64 being one of them. But I actually, but um, with Super Mario 64, some of the stars were real hard to find, so I resorted to a walkthrough. You know, like, um, there are some stars that you would never find um, unless, you know, you were jumping all over the place. But anyway... You know what? I think I will do one more level. Yeah, we'll do one more level. Because who knows how long this game is. This game could be like, what? 
maybe 10 levels or 20 levels. Peppers and portals. Some portals are meant for elite demons. Demons use. Any demons could become elite, but that's no easy task. To unlock a pepper portal, you'll need a specific co a a combination of two peppers, which you can find scattered around different stages. Each unlocked a pepper portal will spawn a new creature that can become quite handy. What? Okay. To unlock pepper portal, you need two peppers. Each unlocked pepper portal will spawn a new creature. Okay. I'm not done yet. In order to open these portals, you'll have to do a ritual dance. Uh, peppers and dancing. Just the usual stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, so we need two peppers. Okay, one is a jalapeno. And the other one is kind of like a, re a green or red pepper. Alright. Oh, okay, I can't do that. Can't go that way just yet. Let's look down. I can jump straight down. Oh, okay, no one... Okay, I can see the use for the camera now. Whoops. Let's poke him with the... Let's poke him with the thing. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let him launch me over here. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh no! Okay, barely made it. The, yeah, the soundtrack is, I would say, is oddly relaxing for a game like this. You know, it kind of has a '90s, uh, a PS1 era style of. Uh, I don't know. It gives me PS1 era vibes. Okay, let's drop this here. Whoops. Ah, oh, darn. Well, I wasn't meaning to do that, but, um... I'll just leave you here. Where is that? Oh, darn. Okay, yeah, there is a way back. Thank you, video game developers, for... Thinking... Uh, what do you call it? For... Remembering that some of us people, uh, gamers, will... Oh, will not get things right away. Give us a way back to the portal instead of dying. Well, I guess that could be the quicker way. But some people just don't like the idea of getting themselves killed. I mean, like, losing life. He'll let him go, pa let him go past me. There we go. Drop this here. Ah, well, he's gone. Oh no! Great. I guess that little, uh, that little platform, uh, what do you call it, calms down after a while. I thought they'd stay mad. Yeah, this does feel like a PS1 game that... Well, like, it looks better than a PS1 game, obviously. It being on the PSP. Like, graphically, the PSP is somewhere between the PS1 and PS2. Cool. Ah, oh, great. Ah! Oh, you know what? Screw you. Okay, we'll just restart. Okay, so it looks like we gotta figure out something here. Put him right here. Oop. Okay, so we have two of these. Hmm. Okay, so I need one of these guys here. Whoops. Oh, he's, uh... Oh, darn it. Okay, you know what? We'll let you go. Okay. 
Okay. We'll put them here. Let them run by. Put them right here. And then... There we go. We are one step closer. Oh, okay. I guess that uh, elite portal was kind of like an optional thing. Cool. Enraged creatures attack. Oh, didn't have not didn't have enough time to read that. So yeah, like this this it feels like the this game really does feel like a PS1 game that like could have came out like if you downright downgraded the graphics to the PS1 level. I could definitely see this game being on that system. But yeah, giving me a little bit of nostalgia that wasn't, that it, like, sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's giving me a bit of nostalgia, even though it, this game hasn't come out during that era. But anyway, so yeah, this was today's game, Freakscape. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, and we will catch you next time with a different game. So until then, we'll see ya. Have a good one.